All right, so in this, I'm going to show you the DNA and the RNA bonding, okay? Let me put RNA right here. Now, this is an example video, okay, of the bonding process so you can understand in, this, in its entirety, and I wanted you to have its own, I wanted it to have its own separate video. So, now that you know we need hydrogen bonds, let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got hydrogen bonds. So now that we know, because this is DNA, all right, we're doing DNA right now. This is DNA. Now, I told you that numbers is five and three. Now this bond, A bonds with T, T bonds with A, C with G, G again, then C bonds with, I mean G bonds with C, then A bonds with T, uh, T bonds with A, then A with this T, and then G, right? Let's go three, five. That's the DNA bonding. Right here in the middle is our hydrogen bond. So let me draw that out. HB, so you understand what that is. Now, we want our RNA bonding now. So, of course, we said that our A, our T leaves and we get a U. All right? So we got to draw hydrogen bonds again. Our T still bonds with A because it's in the DNA strand. This is still DNA. This is a new strand of DNA. Our A, but it's going to turn into a U. And our G is going to turn into a C. And our G is a C again. Our C is a G. Our T is going to be an A. And our A is going to be a U. And our A is going to be a U. And our G is going to be a C. And then we have 5, 3 again. And that's how you bond the nitrogenous basis of the nucleotides or, or create the, the nucleic acid of this, okay? So, take this down. Let's get into the work so you guys can, can understand how to do this activity.